photographer. I make videos right here on YouTube all about filmmaking and content creation. So if you're into that kind of thing, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. I guarantee you will not regret it. Today, we're going to be talking about why your camera is probably better than you think. So yes, whether you own an iPhone or a DSLR or a point and shoot or a mirrorless camera, there is a good chance that that camera that you currently own is better than you think. And when I say it is better than you think, I'm specifically referring to video quality. And yes, believe me, I can relate to those of you who every time you hear about the release of a new camera, you feel like you have to have it because otherwise your videos are not gonna compare to whatever else is out there and they're not going to look professional. However, how good the specs of a camera are and how much you spend isn't all that important and let me explain why. So in the photo and video world, there is a term that gets thrown around all the time called dynamic range. Basically, when someone says your camera has good dynamic range, that means you can see a lot of information in the highlights and the bright areas of your image, as well as having a lot of detail in the shadows and darker areas of your image. So maybe one time you pulled out your camera and you tried to film a subject sitting next to a window on a bright sunny day, but you realize that if you wanted to expose for your subject's face, your background or your window would be completely overexposed or blown out. So back a couple years ago when I had a Canon T3i, I would be in this situation all the time and I thought that it was simply because my camera was not good enough. I genuinely believe that if I wanted to pull off a shot like that, then I would need a fancier camera with all sorts of flat picture profiles. And in my head, I thought that the camera I was currently using just wouldn't cut it. So as you can see, today is a very bright and sunny day. It's actually one of the most sunny days of the year so far. And you can see all of the individual leaves and the green of the trees. This shot is not blown out at all. And I haven't done any masking or crazy effects in post. And to prove that, here is what the shot looks like straight out of camera. All I've done is a simple color grade to make the shot look a little more visually appealing. But you might be thinking right now, Daniel, of course your shot looks good. You're using a Sony a7 III, which is one of the most new cameras on the market with all kinds of flat picture profiles and amazing dynamic range. But to prove to you that the reason this shot looks good is not because of my camera, here is the same shot on my iPhone. So here's the exact same shot taken on my iPhone. And as you can see, you can still see all of the trees in the background, nothing is blown out and the shot looks really good. So the reason I'm able to pull off this shot next to my window, even with my iPhone, is not because of the quality of the camera or the dynamic range, but it's actually because of lighting. So here we are in the exact same shot and all I I've done is turn off the lights and adjusted the exposure on my camera accordingly so that you can see my face. And as you could probably tell, the shot now looks like garbage. So you can really see the difference that it makes when you eliminate lighting from the equation. And guys, trust me, there is no trickery in this video. There's no exaggerated results. This is genuinely what happens when I remove lights from the situation and just use the camera settings to bump up exposure to expose for my face. And even my fancy Sony a7 III with a $2,000 Zeiss lens can't save a shot with poor lighting. If you are wondering what lights I use, I will link the videos down below to where I talk about them. So before you go out and spend thousands of dollars to upgrade to a fancy new camera, think to yourself, have you already done all the little things that will make your video a thousand times better, like upgrading your lighting or even upgrading your audio? Because I guarantee you that these things are more important than what camera you use. And on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful. If you did, then make sure you hit it with a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And thank you to Setup for sponsoring this video. Go ahead to the link down below and start your free trial today. And as always, my name is Daniel. I hope you have a beautiful evening.